Hello everyone, my name is Mitt. Here we are back with Higurashi when they cry. So, from the ending of last episode to me starting this episode right now, I have come to this conclusion that literally each chapter is really going to be focusing, placing more important on one of the friends in this group, legitimately. As in, this chapter is putting a lot of emphasis on Mion, even like her as a character, and also her own family. And obviously the very first chapter was all about, I guess, um, uh, Keiichi, like, slowly become disillusioned from the friend group from talking to Reina more and more often. And actually there's a lot of scenes there where Keiichi specifically hanged out with her more there and then going off to her death. And to his. And now here we are, two chapters in, and it feels like it's going down focusing more on Mion as a character. Lee of um, uh, going to a place she frequents, uh, going to a, going to Angel Moore the restaurant and seeing her like a twin sister, even though they're trying to throw out the uh, the detail that I'm, uh, it could be literally just me on she's lying about a twin sister. I just had a, I just feel like it's literally just her sister actually. It feels too convincing. That or just some uh, she's just really insanely good at lying, which I can't actually put past it. But my genuineness sense sensations are saying you are you are who you say you are. Yeah. Listen up, everybody. Okay, are we having a school field trip out here, teacher? <laughs> you don't take talking seriously. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Oh, someone just having fun, just flipping, just just doing sick knife flips. <laughs> this is part of your education as well, so don't fool around and do it seriously. Hmm. Okay, so like you have cooking pits out here. Okay. A lazy. Yeah. Laughed it through the class response. Half the school day today was going to be home economics class. Yeah, okay, I can already see that. <laughs> the plan was for everybody to make curry rice and give it the, to the forest rangers who left, this, who left this building be rented out as a school. Like, uh, how long has this like, building become a school? I'm assuming that the, uh, the school that they go to Okinomiya, I think that's where it was. Like, that's only the main school, but then they also rented this place out to have, I guess, more school buildings for, the, for students to come. Hmm. I wonder if that was the main school in that area first, then this. Hmm. That means we got the second best school. God damn it. We're, we're being cheapskated. If everybody were making curry in the same pot, it would have been more of a party-like atmosphere. But this is school, after all. Did you did you bring, like, a pot and, like, made individual fires for individual groups now? Excluding the youngest students, each one of us would be making our own curry, with the results being judged. Okay, we're like, I don't know if like you did it like you practice like cooking and all that and you're practicing home economics classes But I'm uh, this is like a giant leap <laughs> Runs the time I had to make cookies and just learn how to make a cake and all that for my class But then I'm uh, we did cut things down and like do things very fast because would have like basically mix all the ingredients together Put it in the oven or just put on the skillet uh, fry it up and I'm uh, both eat it all in one take and then clean dishes on a single class period that was hectic. I'm a slow cleaner. <laughs> I take my time. All right, everybody. Maybe that nowadays curry is an easy meal anybody can make, but has its roots in traditional in Indian cuisine. Even though we've altered it a bit in the Japanese style, it is still instilled with the knowledge and culture of ancient India. Absolutely do not neglect that fact. I'll have words to anybody who doesn't take this seriously or be prepared for that. Okay, Jesus, fine, okay. That seemed like a needlessly passionate sermon on curry, but whatever. She really cares about curry, okay? And if, like, someone's curry here is not just right, she's gonna slam into your faces. <laughs> Third degree burns. It's rumored that, it's rumored that Ch uh, Chase Sensei is devoted to like to curry. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Ch a. I forget how E is pronounced, the, the syllable. Hmm. I'll go with Che before I look it up later. Should be good. should be probably be a pretty strict judge. As long as you're not failing, your grade in home ec doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter at all. Oh, so Keiichi, I see you want to eat pork. You want to see you want to eat pork and ginger ramen forever, then, huh? <laughs> at least until your death. <laughs> I wouldn't say that if I were you. The teacher's a tire when it comes to curry. Like, is that really all she eats at lunch? That's all anyone ever sees her eat. What the heck does that even mean, a curry tyrant? Does she know every single recipe for curry? I would love to see her expertise on that. 
Never heard of that before. Well, yeah, because you never met one before, duh. You see, our normally mild-mannered teacher, for some unfathomable reason, is stickler for curry. Well, everyone has their passions, okay? Oh, passionately so. Uh, yes. Yeah. It's said that every year she goes on a journey to India to research mythical curry. Mythical. Well, this is just a rumor, but it said that she eats curry rice three meals a day, and she occasionally has something else. It always has to be curry flavored. Well, I don't know what exactly curry is supposed to taste like, so I can't really say. That's not unyielding. That's unnatural. Look, at this point, because of colleague life, literally just you're eating the same foods no matter what every day. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, this is good. I'm taking this this morning enough for every. <laughs> Is she part of an evil cult or something? Don't worry, you'll be dropped into it later. <laughs> Besides, doesn't curry top the list when it comes to junk food? Curry three times a day is just weird nutritionally speaking and... Oh boy, thunk thunk thunk. It bent to the table right by my fingertips. A chef's knife, ladle, and spatula hummed gently as they still quivered. Did you just bed the ladle and the spatula into the wood? The teacher, while still mixing her own pot, was looking this way, smiling. Kate, John, shush. Be saying more. You'll be sleeping with the fishes. Well, I mean, the s gotta get some sushi somehow. Saying a little bit more would make my situation a lot more dire. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like you have a death wish. Just be serious and make your curry properly, and everything's good. All right. I don't think it's gonna be that easy today. Look. Take your same enthusiasm for club activities and put it into this school day. It's easy. Motivation. Look, Michan is... It's written all over her face. The playing field is even. We're being judged. There's no way this won't turn into a competition. Well, literally, the best way to do this is literally just, hey, Mion. Just make this a club activity now. And again, now I say Mion like that, I can't think... I can only think back to Leon. God damn it. I plagued my own mind. It looks like we're all on the same page. It's a cooking contest! Okay, uh, calm down there, Missy. <laughs> I knew it. There's no way me I'm gonna lose this enticing event alone. Well, thank you for saying I'm uh, it's kind of a, a comp cooking competition halfway through the contest. Wow, that's unfair. How should we determine the victor? By how the teacher judges it? As of saying, but wait, there's more. The teacher reappeared with the principal in tow. Oh, I see. You get both their approvals. The principal is very picky. <laughs> the purpose of today's event is to show appreciation for the people of the forestry service. So they'll be judging the results with me. Oh, okay. So, you, so have fun. You have to basically get good favorable reviews from both the teacher, the principal, and everyone in the forestry service. Have fun with that. Yep, your teacher and I, as well as five people from the forestry service, will be judging your cooking. Seven people. Good luck to everyone. <laughs> Even the principal? Yes. You have your work cut out for you. Looking around, it seemed like the interest of everybody in the class been piqued. So that's what's happening. This isn't going to be just some casual curry cook-off. I would just, I would think you as a class representative would know about this ahead of time, though. For some reason. Wouldn't you? <laughs> Rena's good at making curry! I'm not gonna lose today. Well, you better get on that in a hurry. My grade is cooking in a group. Some together with Rika. Th that's unfair. I'm pretty sure that Rika's good at cooking. Wait, I thought I said, like, oh, the lower grades wouldn't be cooking that... Oh, the lower grades aren't cooking by themselves. Okay. Akechi, you're by your own self. Rain is by your own self. Me is by your own self. And those two are cooking together. Okay, gotcha. My curry is so tasty, it'll send shivers down your spine. What about Mion? She doesn't seem like she's too good at cooking. Her type has always been bad at this kind of thing. Her type? What? But Mion can look unconcerned. The f what, what do you mean by her type? Uh, leadership type? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what Katie's thinking right now. Miana's definitely better cooking. Am I right? I don't like the way she said that. 
at this point, never think your thoughts aloud. Never think any thoughts. It couldn't be. Mion couldn't possibly... At that moment, the teacher's, uh, the teacher's whistle sounded. We. All right, everybody. Are you ready? Be very careful with the knives. Start. Oh, you didn't even start cooking, okay. The call to arms had sounded. And thus, we gave one of the forest rangers food poisoning. <laughs> we had to get, use an outdoor cake to cook the rice, but it wasn't that difficult for a camping veteran like me. Put the rice into the canister, push your palm to the bottom, and fill with water to just above the wrist. Are you just having a fun time there, burning yourself? <laughs> Are you alright with only that much water? If you don't put in more, it could be bad. Don't give tips. I want to see KT fail again. You filthy liar. Okay, no, never mind. Continue talking. No, keep talking, Sadako. If that's what your plan is, keep talking, please. If you put any more, I'll just be left with some half cooked porridge. Sadako, if that's meant to be a trick, it won't work. I'm used to cooking rice with these utensils. You can only make ramen and curry, apparently. First, it starts to bubble, then it steams as a puff. And don't take out the lid, no matter what. Hmm, Keiji Kun, you're amazing! This is a little unexpected. Did you learn that this at summer camp? Did you even have time to do all this when cram schooling? My dad really likes to go camping, see? How would you have time to do that, though? Whenever summer comes around, our family goes a lot. <laughs> That's literally just your only respite from school. <laughs> My god. That was literally your first thought was homework instead of the camping trips. Wow, that's how big of a, that's how big it was in your summer life. So this means everybody's good at cooking the rice. Everybody is. But are you good at cooking the curry in a hurry? <laughs> in other words, the critical part of this challenge will be the curry. <laughs> curry is Rika's specialty. I'm letting her handle all of it. Okay. We'll cream you all. You lost me at Rika's. <laughs> It just sounds like a restaurant. Have fun. I will support your endeavor if you manage to live, Rika, and become a restaurant owner. Oh, wait. <laughs> Why don't you help with the cooking, too? Hmm. Maybe Sadako Chan is helping the most by doing nothing at all. Star. Look, Sadako has a very important job of being the motivator, okay? And if Rika wants her to do something else, then she can just say it, okay? If Rika has no qualms with it, then Sadako is doing fine, okay? I'm just taking her aside for everything now. <laughs> eh. The ends justify the means. I just had the win. The ends justify the means indeed. That was a pretty malicious comment for for Reyna. And Sadako took it hook, line, and sinker. Reyna can only apologize between fits of laughter while Sadako chased her around. Well, so old well, your your curry is being unburnt. Have fun. Okay, Rain is Rain is being in last place now. <laughs> well now, should we move on to the curry? Nah. For now, the battle, tr the battle truly begins. After rinsing out the carrots, potatoes, and other standard vegetables, I grasped a knife. Mm. What will today's curry taste like? As Raina hummed along, her very well-practiced hands wielded her, wielded her knife. The rhythmical sound of that knife hitting the chopping board harkened to kind images of days long past. Well, actually, she, like Raina has more like more experience in terms of just like cooking. But you were way too far. You were, you just were too long away from your from your pot. You burnt everything. Plain put, it was perfect. She has practice with knives. <laughs> it was so calm and practiced. I seriously don't stand a chance. I looked over at Sadako and Rikachan. Sadako was in charge of washing the vegetables, while Rikachan was in charge of peeling them. Oh, I see. That's what I heard being discussed. But Rika-chan's knife skills are something else as well. Hmm. I see. She was happily rotating the potato and peeling it quite quickly. On top of that, the peels span the entire potato. Oh, like an un- like a completely unbroken spur? A spool. That's sweet. <laughs> what was that called again? Katsu Ramuki? I've heard that peeling a vegetable in one loop around like that is a highly regarded technique. It looks amazing. I'll, I'll, I'll say that much, too. <laughs> she picked up the peel from the sink and carved a pair of eyes into it with her knife. <laughs> it's a snake. Roar. <laughs> okay, that's adorable. 
Saying that, she placed the longly peeled potato skin on top of the head of a boy from her group. She wasn't even breaking a sweat. When it comes to Rika-chan cooking, I couldn't even hold a candle to her. I hope that boy likes them becoming a snake with a potato. <laughs> Cursed. But, roar? Look, it goes with the territory. Well, snakes don't roar, but like, we can make a new species. Do snakes even make that sound? They do now. All right then, how's Mion doing? She's definitely just fumbling along. She's just yawning there while we'll just have a practiced hand, like just mixing it up in the pot. There's no way she can peel potatoes so effortlessly like that. Absolutely no way. Look, everyone here is good with knives. Except for Sadako. And you. <laughs> this can't be! You gotta be kidding me! This is a trick! She's using special effects! Like, I don't I don't think CG, CGI was uh, that commonplace in uh, movies back then, uh, Keiichi. Uh, where's the wire? She's definitely using a wire. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take a look-see. As she already won, Mion proudly showed me the elongated potato skin. Okay. You didn't know, Keiichi? Mima's taught to cook by her grandma. Yeah, and um, uh, she um, uh, makes some uh, very good and tasty mochi later. <laughs> Not just cooking. From sewing to flower arrangement to planting the koto. From marksmanship to radio operation. Even helicopter piloting is one but one of the myriad things you can do. What kind of family do you have, Sonazaki? And again, just how much emphasis is being put on you this time? Is it centering my idea further? This whole chat is going to be about you instead this time. We learned a bit more about Reina, about her past, like, entirely, and now we're getting a focus on you this time. And so just from that pattern, I didn't look at look what the fourth chapter is. The fourth chapter must be, like, the face from uh, Rika. Hmm. Most likely. Strangely enough, the latter items were more realistic. It was the first few items on that list that seemed like a lie. She's actually really good at cooking. Just such a hassle that she never d does it, though. Damn it! I'm also really good at cooking. Really. I call BS. Especially Chinese food. You didn't even know how to make your own- You didn't know what to make that one night. God damn it, Keiichi. Don't- Don't lie to yourself. Don't lie in your own inner monologue. Wait, no. You're trying to lie so you can actually bump yourself up and show off everyone that you're actually way more confident? I agree with you 100% now. Keiichi, pointing something and pouring into a bowl doesn't count as cooking. <laughs> Shut down before I can even say it. Well, that player failed. Oh, -ho -ho! too bad for you. Today, Katie's son shall be assuredly languishing in defeat all alone. D -d -d Clack. Tough words with somebody you can't even cook by yourself. Look, she's trying her best, okay? Shush you. <laughs> Rika. There, there. Pat Sadako. I'll destroy Katie for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love this now. Oh, this does not look good. Everybody's smirking at me. I swear to God, if Rika doesn't win from that one line alone, I just want her to win this the most. God. Don't raise the white flag yet, Keichi Mayabara. I think you should get some red paint out first. Just paint a little... Just, just, just paint a skull on it. Don't throw away this match. Calm down and think. I don't know how to peel those potatoes well, but about how to win this challenge. If you want to win this challenge, you gotta think the potato. Become the potato. Peel the potato. Kill your own fr kill your own brethren. There's too many people watching. I'm I'm gonna work on another sink. Saying only that, I got out of all the vegetables and left that spot behind. Are you even are you gonna take your rice with you? Well, Kate, you couldn't be alright. I'm worried you might cut himself with his knife. Let's see what Kate Chan's doing. No matter how hard I try peeling these, if I slip up at this speed, I'll lop my fingers right off. Oh my god. Then, there's only, thing, only one thing left to do. What is that? <laughs> oh my god. If you help me here, kiddos, I'll get that order for you right real quick. Tomita-kun! Okamura-kun! Oh, you guys are in a group of four, huh? It was the two underclassmen that had become my sworn brothers ever since the event of that toy store last Sunday. 
And then paired with two girls to the group. Yeah. Yep. Both the girls are pretty good at cooking. So both of us can just mess around, we'll be okay. <laughs> both the point of the girls. They're not as good as Rena. G Raina, goddammit. But they were both good enough at handling a knife. I'll get straight to the point then. At this rate, I'm gonna lose this contest. Give me the vegetables your group has peeled already. Uh, my bear son, that's pretty much theft. <laughs> but depending on what it's in for us, I swear. In other words, it depends on the terms of negotiation. Nice. <laughs> Quite bold of you guys. Well, that's to be expected. Yes, your whole your whole mentorship brother brotherhood thing is really just just uphold an on negotiation. So have fun with that. Then let's do this. If I win. I'll let you eat the curry that Sadako and Rika-chan's group makes. How about that? Uh, uh, I don't know about that. Both of them are hesitant after such a weighty proposal. Just one more little push seems in order. How exactly you're gonna manage to like steal some of the food there if like you're gonna, if they're gonna give all the, the curry they made to the forestry rangers? Unless well, it's a hearty like like giant meal, then I guess so. Very well then, let's make them an offer they can't refuse. I pull both of them close to the shoulders and make my offer in a hushed tone. Oh boy. Of course, that includes the part that Sadako and Rika-chan have already eaten some of. Oh. I'll even throw in the spoons. Okay. Every time this comes up, my brain just goes completely blank. Okay. Splooge. <laughs> a red mist spouted vigorously from the nose of the two underclassmen. God damn it. Hmm? Katie's son is also pretty good at this. Those are some very nice potatoes. What the f My god. <laughs> that means the under that means those two girls were better at peeling peeling potatoes and all that than you, Keishi. Ugh, emasculated. <laughs> Having brilliantly cleared the vegetable peeling challenge, I return to my comrades in triumph. Whoa, amazing, amazing! Kichikun's peeling is really good! Ah, uh, yep, it was, uh, all me, uh, huh. you, you told me they would be oh, goddamn quiet. Hm, <laughs> that's not quite right. What Keichan has, has bared isn't potato, but his fangs. Yeah, I'm super serious about it. I'll crush you all for the press. Having finished with preparing the vegetables, next is to boil a pot of water, then add the vegetables in order of which takes longest to cook. I learned this part from my mother when we went camping. Hmm. But just cooking in order, it probably won't gar garner a lot of points. Have fun experimenting. Look over at Reyna, she had a variety of vegetables cooking together in a delicate balance. She wasn't being ambitious or calculating a way to win the game. She was making delicious food with a mother's touch. I have a feeling that I could somehow compete with Mia in terms of technique, but I would be no match for Reyna. She was out of my league. When my mother makes curry, you see, she always uses lots of ingredients. That's why Reyna's curry uses lots of ingredients as well. I really wanted to make make all nine stew it nice and slow. Mm. I beg of you. Will you please help just a little with my curry? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, this is one of our club activities. <laughs> Raina won't lose. Ugh, when she enters club mode, even the normally kind Raina becomes an enemy. Yes. Looks like Rika Chan is cooking apples as well. What kind of curry is this? I don't even know too much about it, but like, my first thought is, would apples even be part of a curry? Oh, she's like a pro at this. How about Mion? What, Mion, you? What the heck is that? Where did you get meat from? <laughs> okay, well that's how you know like she's gonna win then. I predicted what we could be, what we do today by looking at the schedule. So I prepared accordingly. Isn't that kind of just cheating that you're using things which you, you weren't provided though. My curry is gonna be marvelous. Upon closer inspection, looks like Miam brought her own vegetables and spice and other ingredients. They're spread all over the place. Mion, just today, just for today, you brought all this stuff from your house? Ah uh, yeah. Objection! Jason said, "There's no way this is allowed, is it?" 
Objection never ruled. As long as it makes her delicious curry, anything goes. Star, you've been shot down. Uh, if that normally serious teacher to go so far as to append a star to the end of her sentence. <laughs> well, I've been making a joke of this whole time of like, they keep like, every character just has a star at the end of their sentence. Do they, do they actually literally say star at the end of the every single sentence? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's like this, what was it, this is that one small scene in the first chapter, just like, Keiichi or someone just going, lol. <laughs> just as the rumor said, she's a, th a through and through curry freak. <laughs> Reina and Rika-chan are naturally good at chefs. I've come with, thor with thorough preparations. And, Keiichi-chan, what about you? Uh, I'm a good at chef assistant. <laughs> <laughs> it's hopeless. In the grand scheme of cooking, peeling the vegetables is only a small part of it. The hurdles I must overcome are just too numerous and too high. My parents saw it over here. Turning around, I saw the voices calling me belong to the two underclassmen from earlier, Tamita Kun, Nokomura Kun. <laughs> why just why, why is your like cooking pot like a, like around behind the school? <laughs> What's up, you guys? Hmm. What's up with that pot? Is that from your group? Switch it with your pot before somebody notices. I think that the curry the girls from our group made at the very least is better than what you can make. <laughs> You're insulting Keiichi's cooking. I like it. <laughs> you, you guys, for me, start sobbing. Tears of joy. Don't get the right idea. What does that mean? What the fuck? <laughs> what does that mean here? <laughs> if you don't win, then we... That is... okay. Oh, that's right. <laughs> My god. If I don't win, the talk of eating Sadako and Rikachan's curry goes right out the window. It seems like you guys are getting riled up about this too. Sorry, how, did you just distract the two girls then? I'm in your debt, but I'm surprised the girls in your group agreed to this. My Barasan, we're all so serious about this. Filling in a day duty three times. These guys, to assure me victory, have paid the price. That gaze fellow burning conviction from my underclassmen. Yeah, I'm not finding this alone. <laughs> I find this with everyone. Leave it to me. Save some room, boys. I'll definitely let you eat your fill. <laughs> from their spoons and their spit, apparently. We shall be eagerly winning your victory. <laughs> okay. It's a gas stove, so controlling the heat is easy. Just fiddle and uh, move it back and forth from low to high, um, uh, and keep alternating it when cooking just rapidly. That's how you know you can get the sweet, even flavor. <laughs> I, I, I know, I, I've done cooking class. I'll obviously, take the tip to heart. All that's left is to let it stew a bit. The delicious smell of curry began wafting upwards. The pot gets to me by my two underclassmen. Suddenly drew some double takes. <laughs> Rain even looks surprised when she can't like, take a look, so it must be pretty good. Ah. Uh. Oh, Kate, you're pretty good. Uh, th this this will all just immediately go down the drain. The very second someone just asks, "You want to you want to you want to make some curry together later today?" I want to see how your techniques then, and this all goes down the drain then. <laughs> it looked like this would be a good match right to the bitter end. Yes, if like if Mion's gonna play dirty, why not this? Raina wants to eat Katie Kun's curry! Curry! Hurry, hurry. Raina's curry and Mion's curry, too. Everybody's a worthy opponent here. I've done my very best, but I'm not sure of the outcome. Katie san Rika's calling you. Go see what she wants. What? Rika-chan's calling me? She knows. What could it be? Well, whatever. While I'm at it, I can gather some intelligence in the enemy. I swear to God, if someone messes with my goddamn creep. Mikachan was doodling on the ground in front of the pot. <laughs> because all that's left is to let it stew. Even then, it's good to know that she doesn't leave the stove unattended. Well, yeah. Oh, hey, Rikachan. How's yours doing? It's Mr. Curry. <laughs> huh? Mikachan was doodling something strange. It introduced it as Mr. Curry. Mr. Curry is amazing. He shoots beam from his eyes. <laughs> He's powerful. Pew pew. <laughs> Apparently Mr. Curry shoots beams from his eyes. Yes, thanks for repeating it. 
Drawing a beam with a stick, she etched a line towards my feet. Does this mean I've been shot with a laser? Yes, you're dead. <clears throat> ah! Barrier! Beam reflect! Took another stick in my hand and reflected the beam, striking Mr. Curry. Oh, Rika's distracting you. Mr. Curry can shoot missiles from his stomach. Oh, we're doing this, okay. Pishu! Well, my berry can reflect even missiles and blocks blocks off your block off Mr. Curry's stomach. <laughs> Whoa! My bear is super electric electromagnetic barrier, and retaliatory beam. Mr. Curry absorbs the beam energy and fires his impulse wave cannon. <laughs> this is my god. Rika Chan and I scratch the ground, thoroughly engrossed in our doodle war. Look, she's doing a great job distracting everyone. Wait a moment. Hey, Rika Chan. You call me here for a reason, right? Yes, I called you. But I've already fulfilled my purpose. <laughs> that moment, a chill up my spine. I already fulfilled her purpose. Why are we doing all of these negative space things like before anything technically bad happens? Like, it's either like these effects can be used later on and like I'm uh they kind of like their their purposes are kind of just like like, dulled, or there's something else when the scary parts come. They... they got me! They poison your food. And the second they get fed to the forest rangers, we blame for the murder. Head back to my pot. Stand there. Just a feared. Was Sadako. No questions asked. I drop kicked the back of her head. <laughs> what the hell? What do you think you're doing? You know better than to do that to a lady's head. Who cares about that? Sadako, did you make something in my cur- Impertinent. I haven't fallen that far. Despite what you may think, I'm a fair person, you know. I just doused your fire. <laughs> then what's this incomprehensible line of ladles and plates? Leave them all in these unstable positions. They fall over. What will you do? That moment, a gentle breeze blew by, knocking over a ladle that was stood up on its end. What kind of Rube Goldberg machine is this? The ladle, like a domino, fell over and knocked over the next cooking utensil in a row. Whap, 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 whap. Clank, 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 clank. Thud, 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 This is art. <laughs> what? Okay, I want a Rube Goldberg machine put into an art museum now. I want to see it. I want to see it. Kind of think of it, Domino World Record challenges were quite the rage on television a while back. Kate chan The frying pan! <laughs> oh, I see. I didn't even have time to react. The chain reaction knocked over a cutting board. Then a frying pan. Next to that was my pot. This is technically sabotage. The frying pan struck my pot full force, tipping it over. The contents cruelly spilled out, and now my masterpiece is being assembled by the schoolyard. I stared, dumbfounded. That's, that's actually a cheap move. It was such a beautiful and labyrinth mousetrap that for a moment I lost touch with reality. Oh my, oh my, this is such a, such a catastrophe. I didn't do anything, you hear me? You set it up to make it happen. You put traps down to make it tip over. That's still your own doing. Just because you didn't touch it, technically speaking, doesn't mean you didn't cause it to happen. Don't do loopholing. You... <laughs> oh! At the very last moment, I let my guard down. I ignored the culinary incompetence of Sadako for far too long. Well, she's competent with traps, so uh, she sprung it. <laughs> Even if she couldn't cook, Sadako still had this method of fighting back. Just then, Reno had been sampling her own pot, let out a scream. Whoa. What? Reno's curry is salty? Salty? Okay, we're- okay, you're, they're actually doing the play that I thought of. I'm, uh, poisoning everyone else's, um, uh, food. Okay. That means Rika's gonna win! Yay! Or, I'm, uh... Well, Kimura is actually going to sabotage their own... <laughs> they're going to sabotage <laughs> Rika's own food and just... <laughs> yes, I'm going uh, to ruin the Crush's food so I can eat from the Crush's food. Okay. Was Reina also sabotaged? Then what about Mion? My rice is salty! How much salt did you put into there? Yeah. I've been had! <laughs> oh ho ho! With this, all the obstacles in my way have been taken care of before the fight even begins. Oh, it begins. 
All that effort was all that effort wasted. So sad. So sad. Devils. So very, very sad. Rika Chan and Sadako rub my dumbfounded head to their heart's content. <laughs> Well, there it goes. Pushing the desks together, it was about time for the meals to be judged. I'm just gonna, like, laugh it was someone else we never even heard of in this class wins. Delicious odor of curry spread throughout the courtyard. Members of the forestry service, to whom we owed gratitude for daily work, were guided to their seats. The principal gave a bit of a ceremonial introduction. Next, the teacher expressed her desire for them to judge the curry contest. The member from the forestry service seemed to like that kind of thing, and gave their enthusiastic approval. Be judged, be judged. Well then, is everybody finished? We'll now have all the judges sample your cooking. Everybody in the class brought up their painstakingly made curry and arranged them on the desk. The only club members who managed a decent result were Rika Chan's group. Knowing full well as a failure, Reina played her curry for the judges. She already knew she was going to get a low score. Which can somehow find a way to make something. I'm assuming curry is meant to be taste to be savory. So like, unless you can somehow mitigate a salty flavor, or like try to spin it around to be delicious, then I'm a, it's a bust. But at least she was still able to serve hers. Both Mion's and my curry were completely obliterated, so we couldn't even line them up on the table. The judges started from the curry made by the lower grades. They had a lively discussion, praising the food. Finally. It was our curry's turn. Does that mean they completely skipped over him, uh, Keiichi's curry? <laughs> what how, how did- how did those two actually manage to, like, I guess, like, get past, like, you know, their groups, like, the other two girls in their group? How did they get past that? Okay. Next up is Ryugukun's curry. Yes. This looks quite appetizing. The principal cheerfully shoveled a spoonful of Raina's salty curry into his mouth. Of course, his expression immediately changed. Oh my, what happened, Ryugu-san? It seems so delicious when you were cooking it. Chase-sensei must have had some expectations, judging for a disappointment. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been ch <laughs> I've been sabotaged. <laughs> I might have added a bag of salt by accident. The rest of the judges grimaced after they each had a bite. A bag. I feel sorry for them. How much salt did they add just to ruin the taste, but like make it look like it's a complete, you know, not an accident? <laughs> Failure is but the seasoning for success. I'm looking forward to next time. Do your best. When's next time? Saying that, the principal devoured the rest of the oversalted curry in one go. Truly a man amongst men. But <laughs> Please don't eat that much salt. Eh. Reina was down and out. Her offensive capabilities were something else, but she was defeated due to her weak defense. <laughs> well then, please save our curry next. Well, let's see if Fruity Sun's group had put a lot of effort to their curry. Last name again. <laughs> let's see here. Hmm. It's simple, but very nicely done. Star. <laughs> it was also the incident with Reina's salty curry right before this. So the judge's assessment was extraordinarily high. Maybe not just extraordinary, but perhaps today's forerunner? Will that count as winning the, the contest for the club activity, though? The judges began a heated debate. One of the judges let out a sigh as he removed a chunk of carrot with his spoon. Yeah, this kid's curry really isn't half bad. But I don't like carrots, you see. Okay. Parsons think the carrots are a staple of curry, but I guess to each their own. Yeah. Having seen that, Rikachan read the nameplate in the chest of his, his coveralls and began to speak. Oh my gosh, that's okay. What? <laughs> okay. The fact you just have a, like, an actual annoyed expression. Okay. That's no good, Kyoji. You have to eat your carrots. What is she saying all of a sudden? Everybody turned to Rikachan with a stunned look. Rikachan just did was super effective. The carrot hanging judge began stuffing his face with curry while tears streamed down his face. What? Kyuji, there's seconds if you want them. <laughs> Mommy! What the hell? 
While crying like that, he continued to shovel curry into his mouth. If I was gonna have this reaction, like, how... I don't know how to take this. That's right. Rinka Chun's curry was by no means simple. Like, didn't they even try the curry because they saw carrots and just, just decide to say, uh, no, terrible, bad, because, wow. No, the curry has a taste of mother's cooking. With the carrot hitting judge on the picture, Rinka Chun's assessment was unanimous. Oh ho! Nobody gets into Rika's, Rika's curry. Sadako let out a shrill laugh as she cleared victory. But that moment, the carry hating guy just said no. Don't be full, my esteemed judges. Oh, I see how this is. Don't be deceived in thinking that this meager slop has a taste only a mother can provide. Then provide your own. Provide your own food right now. Put it onto the plate. They didn't see you put it onto the table. So, come on. What you people actually wanted to eat was this kind of curry, wasn't it? Oh! All of a sudden, in its perfect glory, Mion's curry. Wasn't it salted? Oh, did you spin it around like I mentioned? Not only the judges, the teacher, the interclassmen, and of course myself can only gasp in admiration. Hamburg steak with a demi glace sauce in a fresh salad. It's a set! Don't be stretching it to say that this was a full course meal, but wasn't it everything salted? It's perfect. Perfectly made. Uh, amazing! Amazing! Michan, you're amazing! Michan, you're amazing! Yes, yeah, say it again. Sadako was also shocked. Even Rika-chan couldn't hide her surprise. What, didn't you go to salt like the curry and all that? Or did did somehow Mion actually make entire meal in the short time since the sabotage and then the, the recorded thing? How did you make this in complete secrecy without anyone else noticing? And actually, is that even curry? Is that even curry? This seems like just making like just steak or just putting on hamburger meat instead of the curry rice. It seems the victor was decided without even needing a taste. Uh, yeah, still taste it though. Of course, the hamburger was hand kneaded. The salad has also had a home style dressing, but of professional quality. But isn't the contest all about which curry was the best? Is any of this even a curry? And the curry, not even a micron of grit, but wasn't that salted? This is sublime. It truly tasted savor, Sonazaki san. This curry is no doubt a living testimony to 6,000 years of Indian knowledge and beautiful harmony with Japanese cuisine. But it wasn't assaulted. I'm still hung up on that fact. I'm elated. This deserves full marks. I'm giving it 100 points. 100 points to what? Aw, you're welcome. I'm just trying to set an example to class representative by um, uh, bringing um, uh, ingredients to to the class before anyone else realized what was even happening today. Mion bowed politely, then winked at us with a smirk on her face. I admit defeat, uh, but wasn't Mion's thing salted? What? I'm still confused. There's no way this is happening! I'm starting to sabotage a pot of rice. That's right. So I got dumped salt into Mion's rice cooker, which should have ruined it. And if she had, like, some other pot or, like, other rice cooker or slow cooker or anything like that, any type of equipment, wouldn't they have seen it? And if, like, it was somewhere else, wouldn't everyone have seen, you know, Mion go somewhere else to make this food? Unless there's some ghost shenanigans here and supernatural stuff is occurring, then I'm, uh, I call BS again. <laughs> that moment, it hit me. I spun back towards my own canister. That's why! What? Like a double-layered one? At some point, my cooking, my cooking canister had been opened. Oh, she literally used yours so quickly. Oh my god. Oh, okay, oh, that's so smart. At some point, my cooking canister had been opened. Its contents completely emptied. Damn you, Mion! You used my rice! That's no fair! Head over half of your curry! Mian clucked her tongue and waved her finger at me as a smirk washed over her face. 
Well there, k you're going to take this seriously enough by, uh, cheating. Yes. You gave up at that- you gave up the last moment. I didn't. That's the difference between us. Uh, okay, I'm assuming the hamburger is like- a hamburger is the curry here and the rice. That doesn't- it didn't sound like it was, though. <laughs> as soon as you give up, it's all over. Uh, sometimes. <sighs> I couldn't even properly voice my shame. You can still. Me, Chan, I feel sorry for Keiji Kun. Just give him at least a little. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. This is a lesson that uh, you're using someone else's equipment without them knowing. Okay. Keiji just learned that you shouldn't give up in the contest until it's all over. Right? It loathes me to say it, but Mion is right. Is this literally just how the arc of you, like, taking everything completely seriously, other than the club actually comes to fruition? To give up so quickly in the match was my own folly. For me and I brought that to my attention, I should actually be thankful to her. Wait, well then, does that mean that in this situation, I shouldn't give up? How exactly do you go and spin this around? I'm actually, if you do a grand turnabout here, I'll be immensely impressed. My curve is overturned while it's in the pot, and I don't even have any rice left. How in blazes am I not supposed to lose hope in this situation? No, my Barasan. Tomita kun and Okamura constantly appeared. Damn it. Even though my protégés had tried so hard, and they probably didn't see the whole domino effect that <laughs> Sadako made, literally, they just watched Sadako and Rika make a whole plan to ruin everyone else's dishes, and they just saw them ruin your dish. They really, they know, they know the deal, they don't want you. <laughs> I wasn't able to meet their expectations. It, it was an accident. There was nothing you could do. Both of them were dejected. Ugh, I couldn't accept defeat so easily. I was their senior. What would I be if I didn't pick up the broken piece of the dream I had shown them? I just learned it from Mion just now, didn't I? Well, the dreams are, are meant to be broken. Same with rules. So I'm, um, uh, hey judges, what's that over there? Swap. Like, okay, continue eating. Oh, really? Mion's food tastes terrible now. <laughs> Don't throw away the contest. Not until the very last moment. Think, Keiji Maibera. Again, with a full name. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why it gets to me. Think! Not about how to make more curry, but how to win the match. Uh, if you can't make more curry, but you still want to win the match somehow, then... Mmm! <gasps> I had an idea. I didn't think it could turn the tables, but it was better than nothing. Tomita-kun, come and wash your hands. Help me out. Okamura-kun, there's something I want you to find. Okay, gotcha. Okay, what are you doing? Wait, <laughs> both of them dispersed and received these instructions. Oh? How is Kei-chan gonna find her about at the end? Isn't there, like, isn't, aren't you next in terms of, like, you know, the food? And exactly how, how, if you're gonna try to make something else, do you even have time to do that? I don't think you can. Why don't you show me? Uh, d -d 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 tarp. Nobody like a stubborn fool, you know. A stubborn fool who wants to keep things secret. Like y'all keep your secrets, apparently. <laughs> Shut up. Just sit there and watch the last card I have to play. First off, Mion, I'll be taking some of your rice. I won't let you say no. I don't really care, it's salty to all. Hmm. It's okay if Raina helps too, right? KT Kun is in trouble right now. I thought you said you weren't going to help for club activity. Hearing you say that is very reassuring. Well then, Raina, go make some tea. Oh. Oh, oh he doesn't trust me. Next, Sadako. Also, Rika chan. I challenge you to a side bet. Oh my gosh, you're doing a whole goddamn negotiation spree. What did you say? Oh my god. We'll listen to your we'll listen to your request. This is my duty to my two protégés who shed blood, sweat, and tears for my sake. Sadako, Rikachan, if I receive a perfect score, I'll be taking your curry. Nothing for you to eat. You need no one to stop joking around. I'll be giving a big no to that. No, it's alright, Sadako. Take him up on it. Feeling like patting the top of Sadako's head. Me answered those words with all the gravitas of a club president, but Sadako said no. And it was their making. 
you can't even captain this much, didn't you? Okay, that, you're doing your justification stuff. Okay, that's good. Good. Good, good, good. There's no way he can make up for that. So meet him head on. No matter how hard he struggles, he's not gonna make a comeback. Right? <laughs> that may be true, but... I don't mind. Keichi, go for it. Yay. <laughs> My gosh. How exactly are you going to try to salvage this? The judges, seemingly growing, ti growing tired by sa of sampling the various curries, were debating each entry. Does, from what little I ever heard, it seemed that Mian's impending victory was not in question. Yeah. By the way, what happened to my Barracoon's curry? I still haven't tried it yet. Yeah. The pot with my curry in it fell over. Hmm. Disqualified. Is that so? That's a real shame. I may have lost my curry, but doesn't mean I lost this contest. I'll have everybody singing my praises. My combative posturing had drawn the attention of all the judges. First of all, just be quiet and eat these, please. I'll listen to your complaints after that. This is my cooking. Cookling. I see the L's in there. I saw it for, for another one too, but why is it L's? My bear, Kun, that's. Hmm. Onigiri, huh? They just smelled rightly the simple fare that was quite in contrast to the preceding bravado. Bring a poor team to the cops she had brought over from the break room. He's making a mockery of this! It's not curry, is it? There, look! There's not even any filling, there's, there's nothing more than salted onigiri! It's even worthy of being called a contest anymore! Ugh. It's true, the amount of salt might be a, bit, a little too much, but... Raina's expression told me that she thought that was a great idea, but it might still not be enough to win the match. Is onigiri even curry? I, my bear is on. is this really enough to make a comeback? Uh, I don't know, you never tr you gotta learn to try. Gentlemen, you did well. It's alright. Okay. Just watch. Let the cries of the victims spur you on. This is one second. Is Onigiri. Is it Onigiri Curry? It's not, uh, from what I'm finding, onigiri is not curry. You have failed this competition already. The judges were chewing with their mouths full and sipping the tea. Nobody's singing praises or awestruck. They were just quietly chowing down. It seems like Kate Sean has learned how to use some um, rather underhanded tricks. This might be difficult. What? Yeah, that's right. Rin understands that way now, too. What, what do you mean? Why is everybody just quietly eating that much? You see... Oh, no, sorry. You see, Sadako-chan, that's because the judges are actually... Tired of eating curry! Oh, <laughs> that was it. Because they were judges, they had to sample each and every offering. Because they were from small children, because they were made to show their appreciation, they couldn't eat just a little bit of each. Sometimes a man values the moment the amount more than the taste. At those times, rather than rich, mind-blowing flavor, they crave simplicity. They couldn't say it out loud, but this is the most this is the tastiest thing they had today. Ah, oh, you're going for that, but like it wasn't a curry contest though. I'm still harped up on the nut fact. The technicalities matter. They matter. <laughs> I confirmed that by looking at their eyes the judges smiled wryly. I'll praise your efforts, but today's contest was a curry. I'm not sure we can give a score to this. Exactly. The teacher and principal had folded their arms while they pondered the situation. My underlings, seeing that, saw the small glimmer of hope fade away and grew dejected. That means time to manipulate the goddamn Force Rangers. <sighs> Was this a little surprise? Just not enough? Don't give up, Kei-chan. Me whispered quietly. That's right. If I didn't push here. No. I'll have you give it a score. If you think curry and onigiri are really that different, you're solely mistaken. Huh? 
Hi, Bear Kun, what are you saying? Uh, you have fun with going against the teacher whose whole thing is all about curry. Have fun going after her and like challenging her about this. How are they the same? The principal stopped the teacher. It looks like he was giving me one final chance. The judges, having eaten their fill, quietly waited for my statement. In his homeland of India, curry is usually eaten with a type of bread called naan, isn't it? Therefore, you consider that this cuisine we call curry rice is one that we have adopted and modified. Just as the teacher said at the beginning, it's a fusion of Indian and Japanese cuisine. Oh, you're doing cultural technicalities. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, I know what you're trying to say, my bear -kun. But what does that have to do with onigiri? It's actually very simple. Both curry and onigiri are things made to let you enjoy eating rice. Rice introduced to Japan from ancient China. Our agricultural forebears war the fields, find the elements, disease, and pests that grow and raise our rice-centric culture. Yes, the Japanese people have formulated a plethora of dishes, but those were nothing more than attempts to find ways to enjoy eating rice. In other words, curry and onigiri are both results of rice culture. It was scattered at first, but slowly grew into a steady roar. It was a thunderous applause that praised me, and everyone in the bus clapped. <laughs> None of the nonsense already. I won't accept this. The teachers are only judging curry, you know. This is another question. I was deserved zero points. M miss KG Kun did his best. Could you please acknowledge that? Today's concept would be up curry. What should we do? Mion, stifling her laughter, stepped forward. There's a story about how when a Michelin three-star chef from France came to Japan, the people from the hotel he was staying at had a whole bunch of ingredients imported from France. The chef didn't even give him a second glance. I wonder why that was. There were ingredients from his homeland. The chef went to the local fish market and made a dish from the fresh fish con Japan. You want, like, if you want to come to... If he went to a different country just to try, like, you know, his own food there, then why even bother going to a different country in general, then? The culture of food isn't bound by predetermined rules. It's culture. If you come to Japan, you mill with Japanese culture and make something new. That's how curry and onigiri are the same. Why is he helping us? Neon. She's providing fire support. I had to be grateful. Well, just to make sure, like, I'm, a. Uh... Make it a fair contest to see if, like, even her thing would win, even after all this time. Eh. The judges were somehow moved by this complicated yet baseless trivia. Yes, manipulate them. A stern look washed over the teacher's face as she refolded her arms. Class representative time. <laughs> manipulate the teacher. My bear cunt, your pot of curry was over, wasn't it? What, are you gonna try some of it? Even though I said at the beginning to be careful. I'm sorry. But, as my bear Kun and Sonazaki san said, there are no boundaries in cuisine. If it's something that can amaze people, then it's not something that should be discriminated against just because of the form, even though, as the very start of was said, we're gonna only discriminate only for curry. <laughs> then, then, then? For spilling your pot, minus 20 points. You lost. But, just for today, for not giving up and doing your best, Plus 20 points. Okay. I'll give you 100 points. Does <laughs> My bear song, we did a little it. Why is there L's? <laughs> My underclassman leapt at me. A perfect score. We did it. We did it. The curry was spilt and the rice was taken, but we made a comeback. In the end, Rika Chan's curry also received full marks. Sort of, but Reina had a perfect score. <laughs> Since this contest was outside the scope of regular club activities, there wasn't any particular penalty game. Uh, well, they can, you can technically add a penalty game onto it for club activities, but I'm, uh, didn't think to do that. But, like, now these kids will have, have um, uh, Sadako and Rika's, uh, curry. Reina breathed a sigh of relief. Is that really the only reason why he helped out, even though he said it was still a club thing? Now then, as promised, Sadako, Rika-chan, I'll be taking your curry now. But, but that means we won't have any lunch, aww. Sadako like sobbed angrily the ground frustration. The prize defeat was absolute. 
Hmm. I can think of a way to make this different. Um, uh... How about you see those two kids over there? Why don't you eat lunch with them? <laughs> Is what I wanted to say, but I'll show you some mercy. You can eat half. Thank you, Keiichi. My two protégés peered over from the sidelines, tears of joy streaming, streaming from their faces. We exchanged glances that only that will only be understood against amongst men. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> we, we did it, my Barasan. Oh, this is all thanks to you. We flashed each other a thumbs up. Now, I just have to give these to my pupils. I've gotten pretty hungry myself. I guess I'll have, to have I'll have one of my onigiri. What? Huh? There's no trace of my onigiri. The judges were having a funnel time with that, with the trivia, tri just trivia rant wave. The ones I set aside for myself included. As I peered around searching for them, the principal clapped a hand on my shoulder. Ha <laughs> ha When I was listening to that speech you gave, the rice that was chewing, chewing grew even more delicious. <laughs> uh, could it be the eight also ate my share? I think you deserve the head pat, principal. <laughs> The principal simply laughed without answering. Seriously? My eyes half with tears, my stomach rumbling. I was covered by the teacher. My Barricon, because of circumstances, I had to give you a perfect score, but... You understand, right? Huh? Understand what? You made a mockery of Curry. She's your enemy now. <laughs> Everyone in town is crazy. It was an odd glint in the teacher's eyes. If I had to describe it, it was curry colored. <laughs> what? Like a pot of stewing curry. Her eyes whirled around a spiral. Oh, I see. A chill washed over me. The teacher clutched me by the shoulders, and drew me in close until our noses were almost touching. Curry is this world's most respected and sacred of dishes. I will absolutely not allow it to be put in the same category as onigiri. You hear me? Curry was created in ancient India, one of the four great river value civilizations that was raided around during the reign of King Oshka and the, the birth of the Shakala at the International Food Expo Michelin 33rd Twirly Twirly, even the Alpha Tower with pickled and simmering curry, term metric, whether you are asleep or awake, curry, 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 curry. Okay, calm, 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 calm yourself. Hey, Keiichi! <laughs> oh my god. What are you stumbling around for? Uh, I was hit by a mob. Uh, a curry beam. Claim is part of cooking, too. Keiichi Kun, your eyes are all curried. What exactly is curry colored? What even is that color? Why is that? Why? Curry. 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 <laughs> Okay, well, oh, okay, this this explains why, like, Keishi was having him, uh, where he kept seeing things and all that, hearing things from the press behind him. He was already driven crazy by everyone around him besides his friends, even his classmates and teacher. Wow, it can all be easily explained. It really was people. All supernatural power of curry. Yikes, she got him, huh? It's okay, we'll be back to normal by tomorrow. Probably. Nope, it's going to be still in there. The down of a psyche. It wasn't that long before hunger brought me back to my senses. <laughs> okay, that was fun. I think it's a favor of this chapter so far. That and Lily just... <laughs> Keiichi making a fool of himself talking to Xion, honestly. So what tips are there? Oh, there's actually more. Huh. That seemed like a, like a good place to end a chapter off, actually. Huh. Well, then actually, I like, think that would be a good place to lead us off here, as Lily and Ma, the segments are getting, like, two or so hours long, and, like, I should probably cut things down to make sure I actually uh, have a little backlog instead of, um, uh, I have barely any time to actually record things because of schools and all of that. So I'll be leaving this off here. Like, oh my god, the whole world. <laughs> just <laughs> just uh, going through all the technicalities in the cooking competition. Uh, literally. Just a whole food shown in anime in giant one hour just long segment. Oh, it's fun. It's fun. 
don't know why the aftermath is going to go for all of this, but like, as in the end, I'll make you only curious about the principles how to make do without lunch and just stumbling home, complete and utter hungry haze. Oh boy. I wonder how exactly it's going to go down more scurry routes. Well, I guess to see how we can do it. The whole segment was just really fun and looking forward to how much more of his life stuff there is before it transitions over. It's going to be a fun time to go through. But for now, we'll leave this off for next time. So, for the time more to this, I am playing this. Hope you see me next time, the time that may be. And I, y'all, hope a fantastic day.